Hey everybody, this is John with the Legacy CNC Woodworking Channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the next project, which is this set of stackable bookshelves. Now with this set of stackable bookshelves, it's meant to be able to be moved from an apartment to another apartment or a college dorm to another college dorm. So easy, small enough that you can put it in the back of the trunk of your car or in the back seat of your car and move it to your next living location. So this is part of a series called Apartment Living that Andy has been working on for quite a little while. So today we're going to work on the stackable bookshelves. Now the original design for this is 29 inches long. So 29 from inside here to inside here. And if we want to modify that, we're going to talk a little, little bit about one quick Aspire shortcut that I really, really like. So we're going to go over here and look at all of our pieces laid out flat. Our two sides, we're just going to select and kind of move them out of the way. Because they're not really going to be needed for this one. We're not changing the height of it or the depth. We're just changing the length. So there's two things I want you to notice real quickly. First, they're all in different locations. You know, this end point is different than this end point. This is 29 from here to here, but it's actually deeper and longer from, the, from this tenon over to the other tenon. So we wanna move everything to a solid one number. So there's a couple things that we can do. We could lay, line everything up with grid lines and stretch and readjust the angles right here and do all that. Or we can simply select everything Hit N to go into node mode. Take all of these node points on the right hand side of our artwork. So even though these don't all line up, they're not all the same, all those node points, we're gonna right click here, go down to properties, and we're gonna go with a relative move. Now that's important because it's from where you are to where you wanna go. Now we're 29 inches long right now. To go to 40, we're gonna add 11. So we're just gonna say 11 inches from where you are, move to the right. There we are. Now, these angles are still the same. They're still gonna interlock with each other. So nothing here has changed other than just the length of the entire part. All the lengths of the dados have also changed to accept this longer um, tenon here. So it's, it's all ready to rock and roll again at a new length. Let's double check that just for fun. We're gonna go to our measuring tool. We're gonna measure from here over to here. And it's gonna give us 40. We're gonna measure on this one over here and it's also going to give us 40. So here you can see how it's really quick and really easy to resize something by going into node mode, selecting all of the nodes on the side you're going to stretch and then just giving it a relative move by going into properties, relative move, however long you want to go. Hopefully this helps you as you're learning to draw more with the Vectric product line. I love Vectrix Aspire, Vectrix VCarve Pro. If you have any questions, give us a phone call. It's 800-279-4570. And I hope to see you in the next one.